Hello mga math enthusiasts! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria, ang inyong math buddy para tulungan kayo sa mga problema niyo sa math. And for today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa representations of inverse function pero yung pag-complete ng table of values and gra pag-graph yung pinaka-main focus natin. Ha? Pero bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito, mga anak ko, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ng like button. O, pindutin na. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ng subscribe button. At hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na like na subscribe at na hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simula, simulan na natin. Okay, intuitively, give the table of values of each of the following functions. Use negative 2 to 2. So, eto madali lang because we just have to get the, or to complete the table of values. Ang gagawin lang natin dito, eh, isa-substitute lang natin yung values ng x from negative 2 to 2. So, sisiw na sisiw mga anak ha. So, ganito lang ang gagawin natin. Wait lang. So, we have here negative 2. So, yung x natin, papalitan natin ng negative 2. So, negative 2 plus 2, ilan yan? That's a 0. So, yung y mo, 0. Then, for the next one, we have negative 1 plus 2. What is negative 1 plus 2? That's positive 1. So, that's your y. And then, 0 plus 2, you will have here now 2. And then, 1 plus 2, you will have 1 plus 2 is 3. And then, 2 plus 2, 2 plus 2, you have a 4. Ah, hindi ko ba nagbago yung mga given natin dito? Baka nakakaswerte kayo ha. O, gawin natin tong 10. Okay, so we will have here 10 times negative 2 minus 1. So, 10 times negative 2 is negative 20 minus 1. So, that's negative 21. Okay, and then 10, sorry, times negative 1, kasi yung x mo, papalitan mo na negative 1 minus 1. So, 10 times negative 1 is negative 10 minus 1. That's negative 11. Alam naman na yung integers, ha? Diba, kunyari yun, negative 20 minus 1. K, C, C. Keep, change, and then change. So, negative 20 plus negative 1 is negative 21. Yung isa naman, negative 10 minus 1. Keep, change, change. So, keep, change, and then change. So, negative 10 plus negative 1, that's negative 11. Okay? And then, 10 times 0 minus 1, so 0 minus 1, negative 1 lang siya. And then, 10 times 1 minus 1. 10 times 1 is 10 minus 1, you have 9. Okay? And then, 10 times 1 minus, ah, sorry, times 2 na to, minus 1. So, 20 minus 1, you have 19. Uh, that's for number 2. For number 3, we have this one. So, negative 2. Fraction tayo, ha? So, negative, negative 2. Sorry. Erase. Okay. Over 8. Okay. So, magiging positive 2 over 8. O, oh, anong lowest term ng, ano, 2 over 8? That's what, divisible by 2, diba? Pag dinivide mo siya para sa lowest term. So, 2 divided by 2, you have 1. 8 divided by 2, you have 4. So, you have 1 fourth here. And then, dito naman, negative, negative 1 over 8. So, negative times negative is positive 1 over 8. Dahil ito ay lowest term na, 1 over 8 na lang yan. And then, 0, negative 0 over 8. So, 0 over 8 is 0. Walang negative ang 0, ha? So, 0 to. 0, 0 siya. And then, we have here negative 1 over 8. Yung x mo magiging 1. Tapos, negative outside. So, negative 1 over 8. And then, next, negative 2 over 8, lowest term to, divisible by 2, so you will have 1 fourth. Pero dahil may negative ka outside, negative 1 over 4. O, ganun lang mga anak ha. And then, for this one, we have f of x is equal to x. So, ang x mo dito ay negative 2, so yung y mo negative 2 din. Dito naman, negative 1, so negative 1 din to. Dito naman, 0, 0 din. And then, 1, 1. And then, 2, 2. Aha! Dali ng 4, ha? 
For number 5, we have this one. So, 3x plus 7 over 8. So, magsasob tayo ng matindi, ha? Teka, i-enter ko nga ito. Or may space tayo. Ayan. So, we will have here uh, negative 2. So, 3 times negative 2 plus a 7 over 8. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, tama? Plus a 7 over 8. So, negative 6 plus 7, that's 1 over 8. So, this is 1 over 8. Pasensya na mga anak ha, pinagkakasya ko lang yung solution kasi malaki yung space na kailangan. So, this one is 3 times negative 1 plus a 7 over... <laughs> teka, teka. I-extend ko nga ito. Para lumaki yung space nyo. Ayan. Ayan, ha? So, neg ah, 3 times negative 1 plus 7 over 8. Okay, so 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 plus a 7 over 8. So, negative 3 plus 7 is a, a 4 over 8. Blowest term ng 4 over 8 is 1 half. Okay, and then 3 times a 0 naman yung x natin kasi 0 yan, plus a 7 over 8. So, 3 times 0 is 0 plus a 7 over 8. So, 7 over 8 lang to. 7 over 8. Napalitan ko ba yung given, mga anak? <laughs> Nakalimutan na ni Teacher Maria. Baka mamaya nakalibre kayo ang daya nyo, ha? Kachempo kayo dito, ha? So, 3... Times 1 plus a 7 over 8. 3 times 1 is 3 plus a 7 over 8. So, 3 plus 7 is 10 over 8. So, we will have here, uh, lowest term natin, this is divisible by 2. So, 5 over 4. So, this one is a 5 over 4. And then, this one will be... 3 times 2 plus a 7. So, 3 times 2 plus 7 is 6 plus a 7 over 8. 6 plus 7 is 13 over 8. Wala nang lowest term. So, 13 over 8. Okay, for activity, 13.2 pumili lang ako mga anak ng tatlo ha. Kasi yung iba, same procedure naman siya. Ibig sabihin po, meron na ganto yung given, na parang linear lang siya, tapos may fraction. Same procedure lang naman yung magaganap kesa humaba yung video natin. Uh, gawin nyo na lang yung guide. Kung ano yung gagawin natin din sa isa, ganun na lang din yung gagawin nyo, ha? Okay, so we have here, f of x is equal to 3x minus 4. So, katulad ng ginawa natin kanina, substitute lang natin yung mga value, ha? So, we have here 3 times negative 2 minus 4. 3 times negative 2 is how many? Negative 6 minus 4. So, negative 6 minus 4, you will have here negative 10. So, you have negative 2, negative 10. And then, dito naman, 3 times negative 1 minus 4. So, this is negative 3 minus 4. Negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7. So, ito yung points nyo. Negative 1, negative 7. And then, we have 3 times 0 minus 4. So, you will have here negative 4, ha? 0 minus 4 is negative 4. And then, dito naman, you will have 3 times 1 minus 4. So, 3 minus 4 is negative 1. And then, you will have here 3 times 2 minus 4. So, 3 times 2 is 6 minus 4. So, you will have 2. Itong mga to, madali lang i-graph, ha? So, i-graph na natin. Pag negative 2, negative 10. So, kulang tayo. 7, ano, negative 10 pala. 7, extend natin to. Teka, mga anak, ha? Ito yung mahirap, eh. Hindi ko kasi nakita kung so sobra. O, sige. Ay, teka, teka, teka. Ah, wag na nga. Ano na lang ha, tisin nyo na lang na i-drawing ko siya. <laughs> E-extend ko siya dito. Ayaw. So, dahil tayo ay live, wait lang mga anak. Ayan. Medyo balik ko. Negative 8, negative 9, negative 10. So, when we have negative 2, negative 10 siya. So, negative 2, ito yun, tapat sa negative 2, and then negative 10. So, nandito yan, negative 10. And then, yung isa, negative 1, negative 7. So, negative 1, yung x mo, negative 7. 
Okay? And then yung isa, 0, negative 4. 0, tas negative 4, 0 yung x, negative 4 yung y. And then 1, negative 1. 1, negative 1. And then 2, 2. 2, and then 2. Okay? And then we graph. Uh, we connect the points. Pagbigyan mo na akong makonek yung points. Ah, tingnan mo, hindi niya. Teka, teka. Konting TS, mga anak. Ayan, ayan na. Teka. Madaanan dapat lahat ng points. Ayan, nakikita ba? Ayan ha. So, ayan, nadaanan niya yung mga points. Okay, yan yung 3x minus 4. Eh, kailangan i-graph din natin yung inverse niya. Ano ba yung inverse ng 3x minus 4? O, sige, na natin ha. Kailangan pala natin. O, dito na natin gawin. Yung inverse. Teka, teka. So, di ba we have y... Okay, so we have y is equal to 3x minus 4. Kukunin yung inverse nyan, so yung, x, yung y magiging x, yung x magiging y. And then solve for y, so lipat si 4 magiging x plus 4 equals to 3y. Dahil y lang ang kailangan, divide by 3, cancel. So you will have here y is equal to x plus 4 over 3. So, eto na ngayon yung, ano, ang inverse natin ay f of x, uh, inverse of f of x is equal to x plus 4 over 3. So, eto yung inverse natin ngayon. Now, ngayon, dyan natin isa-substitute ng mga to, ha? So, you will have here, kita ba? O natatakpan? O dito ko ilagay? f of this one is equal to x plus 4 over 3. Okay, so papalitan na natin yan ng mga x natin. So, magiging negative 2 plus 4 over 3. So, this is 2 over 3. So, yung y natin when we have negative 2 is 2 over 3. And then, negative 1 plus 4 over 3. So, this is 3 over 3. So, that's 1. Okay, pag 0 naman, 0 plus 4 over 3. So, this will become a 4 over 3 or 1 and 1 third kapag naging mixed number ha. So, that's 1 and 1 third. And then, kapag 1 naman, 1 plus a 4 over 3, that's a 5 over 3 or 1 and 2 thirds sa Mas madali kasing i-graph kapag mixed number siya kesa improper ha. Kasi pag katulad nito, 1 and 1 third, ibig sabihin, igagraph mo siya sa gitna ng 1 and 2. Doon siya matatagpuan ha. And then, we have 2 plus 4 over 3. What is 2 plus 4? You have 6 over 3. 6 over 3 is uh, 2. So, you have here 2. Ngayon, mga anak ko, mas madaling i-graph pag alam nyo yung x-intercept and y-intercept. Ha? Hanapin natin yung x-intercept nito. Ang x-intercept nito ay y equals 0. So, eto magiging 0 is equal to x plus 4 and then over 3. Diba? So, this will be just 0 is equal to x plus a 4. Kasi 0 times 3 is 0 lang naman. Lipat si 4, so negative 4 equals x. So, yung x mo is equal to negative 4. Ang points mo dito ngayon will be negative 4, 0. Mas madali kasing i-graph yung intercept eh. Now, for, so technique lang tong tinuro ko ha. So, yung y-intercept naman will be x is 0. So, kung x ay 0, y is equal to 0 plus 4 over 3. So, that is y over, uh, y is equal to 4 over 3 or y is equal to 1 and the 1 third. So, this will be 0 and then 1 and 1 third. E graph muna natin to ha. Where is negative 4, 0? Negative 4, 0, nandito siya. And then, yung isa naman ay 0, 1 and 1 third. So, 0, nandito siya, and then 1 and 1 third, nasan siya banda? Medyo nandito. Nasa gitna siya ng...
ng 1 and 2 kasi fraction siya. And then, i-connect lang natin ha. Saka natin ilalagay yung points nung nasa table of values natin. So, connecting them. Ayan. And then, wait. Aha. Wait, 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 wait. Pag 2, ano ba pag 2 natin dun sa baba? Pag 2, 2 din. So, dapat mamimit ni 2 si 2. Ayan. So, dapat ang graph nyo. Ayan. I-adjust pa natin. Mga anak, isakto nyo sa inyo ha. Mahirap kasi sa akin, computer. Kaya, nahihirapan akong isakto. I-adjust nyo na lang dyan. Ayan. Basta dapat tamaan niya yung mga dapat tamaan na yan. Nang tamaan sila. Ayan. Ayan naman na. Natamaan na. So, paano to? Negative 2, 2 thirds. Low bat ako. Wait. Ayan. Ang daming abiria. So, negative 2, 2 thirds. Ito yung negative 2, 2 thirds. So, ibig sabihin, approximately, Nandito siya. Ayan. Yung yan dapat yung tamaan niya, ha? And then, yung negative 1, 1. Tama naman. Negative 1, 1. And then, yung 0, na kay 1 and 1 third. Ito yan. 1 and 1 third. Yung kaninang uh, intercept natin. And then, pag 1, 1 and 2 thirds. So, ito yun. 1 and 2 thirds. And then, pag 2, 2 of 2. So, ayan na. Nag-graph na natin yung number 1. Ngayon, para sa mga gusto yung number 2, eh, yung susunod natin, ay, sorry, number 2 ba yun? Yung, num yung guide for number 4 and number, fa uh, number 6, abangan ito sa part 2, ha? Pero... Kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito at natutunan mo ito, please i-comment yan sa ating comment section ha. Mga anak, mahalaga ang mga comments ninyo para maapang video na ito at makita din naman siya ng iba. Kaya tulong nyo na kay Teacher Maria yung mga comments ninyo. Kahit thank you, okay na talaga sa akin yun. Basta mag-comment kayo. And please i-share na agad sa classmates ninyo kasi baka mamaya naghahanap din sila ng guide. At least alam na nila yung gagawin nila. Okay? And please uh, visit our Facebook page, Love Ma TV. Hindi pa kayo nagpa-follow ha, pa-follow naman ito. And syempre, laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!